What's going on guys, Simply Pipes here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys 20 best Apple Watch apps that I find useful. So sit back and enjoy 20 applications to go through. Now this is the watch face I use basically at a daily basis. I have my speedometer, battery, my LifeX, smart bulbs, my TV remote, my smart TV remote I should say. I have my weather there, calendar and I have my activity there. So this is the perfect watch face for me. Now even sometimes I might switch to the infograph if I'm going to the parties or whatever, I like this watch face so much. This is amazing, especially if you have the Series 5 with that always on display. But without further ado, let's just get right into the applications. Now the first app we have is called Carrot. Now Carrot is the best weather application in my opinion for your Apple Watch especially. Uh, it gives you everything here. So it's give you the weather from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. 48 degrees, pretty cold. And if I go down, you can see the forecast. Saturday's gonna rain, Sunday's definitely rain. It shows the temperature and the weather condition versus the stock, it only gives you either the temperature and then you have to make another complication for the weather condition. So this one here combines two complications into one uh, you know complication which is pretty nice the next app we have is called beer so I'm at the go into my home screen which by the way I think this is the best way to interact uh, with your Apple watch on the home screen I think Apple should have the row of icons just like iOS now with this application is gonna allow you to take down notes using dictation on the Apple watch so I'm gonna create a new note what's going on everybody this is the application called bear and it is a staple one because you can jot down notes using dictation. Period. And it is that simple. So quickly take down notes without taking out your phone or iPad. And as you guys can see, right on my iPhone, just like that. You can also extend the note too if you like. So you can tap on that. You can either do dictation again. You can swipe the keyboard or you can use the swipe or emojis. And this is just me saying anything, <laughs> period. And then done. And it's gonna add right on. So yeah, bear staple application on the Apple Watch. Now next up, this app is called Harmony Watch. And this is really for whoever have the Logitech Harmony Hub. This is gonna allow you to control your PS4, your TV, your cable box. Anything you got, you can control it. It's a smart remote. The PlayStation, I have my Fire Stick assigned to Netflix, cable box, the news, so it's automatically gonna change to the news channel. And I got my Nintendo Switch on the bottom. But I mostly use my PS4 anyway for everything. The Fire Stick mostly for movies. But this is the Logitech Harmony remote. I made a video on it, and yeah, it's still going strong to this day. The buttons are fading a little bit, it's showing its age. But for the most part, this is an app. Instead of using the remote, you have your Apple Watch to control your your home system. Yeah, I highly recommend it if you have a Logitech Harmony remote. If not, then this app is completely worthless. And that's one of the reasons why I have it as a complication because it's always there whenever I need it. Next, we have an app called LifeX, but this is basically a smart bulb so you could control the lights. The only thing I don't like about this app, you cannot change the colors. I wish there was a way you could change the colors on the Apple Watch app, but you can use Siri. Um, let me just show you guys. Make the light color red. Okay, red. So you guys see like a little red accent. I should keep that though. It's really not too bad having a little red accent there, but we're gonna make it right back to white. Make the light color white. White coming right up. And then yeah. So that's really cool. LifeX, one of my favorite apps on my Apple Watch easily now next up we have a sleep tracking app called pillow now pillow is okay i used it once but then the battery life on my apple watch was not really usable for the next day so the thing with sleep tracking apps you got to be prepared to charge your apple watch during the day but i used it once and it didn't really work as well it says zero quality sleep it didn't really track anything but there's another application called auto sleep so you don't have to set anything the apple watch is automatically going to detect when you're sleeping or not but it's going to cost you some money and honestly i don't even think it's worth going with a sleep tracking app on your apple watch like i mentioned the battery i didn't know the battery was going to get a huge hit like that but 
that pillow is okay i'm gonna try it again tonight and see how it is the beauty thing about pillow it is free so you don't have nothing to lose but there are some in-app purchases we have speedometer now speedometer it's just gonna track your miles per hour or if you want you can have kilometers too but miles per hour is better for me um, I ride my electric skateboard. Sometimes you want to see how fast you're going, and I just like having a speedometer. Or maybe you're riding your bike, you want to see how fast you're going. Driving is not necessary because you have them in your car already. Or maybe if you're riding a roller coaster, you want to see how fast you're going, and it works really, really well. You know, I used it when I was riding my skateboard, and yeah, it's pretty accurate too. I was going 20 miles per hour on my skateboard, and I was like, man, I'm going so fast. Now, I was going to include Starbucks on this list, but uh, you know what why not starbucks is here it's gonna be right here on your apple watch but yeah you guys know what starbucks is anyway but what i do want to show you guys is an app called gas buddy now gas buddy is gonna come in really handy if you need gas uh so you can see the gas prices in the area um you can filter it by showing either distance or price so if you want the cheapest gas possible you can filter that or sort it by and you have your gas type um, I'm gonna just go with regular so this is the cheapest gas around my area so this is really cool this is literally a gas buddy next we have an app called complicated 2 now complicated 2 is really just to have a picture as a complication so if I go back into my watch face and I switch over to the infograph modular you guys see that little picture on the bottom center so that is really cool. You can have your own picture if you like. So if you want to have a personalized logo or your, your own picture, you can do so. But one thing that turned me off with this app is the fact that you have to spend 99 cents a month just to have your picture as a complication. Now, that's not bad. I didn't, I didn't even do it. So this is the complicated two application. As you guys can see, you have a bunch of icons to choose from. But what we all want is custom. So custom is... You can set your own picture. And if you say, okay, you need to spend 99 cents a month. But really, this is also just to have like a phrase or a text to, to have on your Apple Watch. So if you want to say like an inspirational motivation, you could do anything you want here. Next up, we have an application called Kernel. And shout out to Nicholas, aka Apple World. He created this application. And this is a fantastic idea for movie lovers. If you like to go to the theaters, this is giving you a countdown. So you have a countdown until a movie comes out. So I have like a watch list. So Frozen 2 is coming out tomorrow. Internals is coming out next year, basically. But shout out to Nicholas, man. This is a great idea. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Awesome channel. If you love Apple, that's the channel to go to. So this is the kernel application. So I have my watch list, which is on my Apple Watch. You have a blog, so you can see all the articles here. You have your featured. You have your news. You have your reviews, the trailers, the wallpapers, the podcast. The list just goes on and on. So this app right here is completely free, but you can support by removing the ads, um, it's gonna cost you $4. And it's a lot of movies, man. I'm slacking on the movies. I still haven't seen Joker. It's just like, man, I just hate watching a movie alone. I need, a, I need to go with somebody to watch a movie. So everybody's just been busy. And as you guys can see, the plus is here. You just tap on that and it's automatically gonna add right there on your Apple Watch. Really quick too. All right, so this is how the complication look for Kernel. So if a movie coming out tomorrow, it's just gonna be a full bar right there. You tap on it releasing today or tomorrow and yeah it's going to give you a countdown next up we have another application called all the rings and this is a better app than the standard activity app and so i like how it's one ring but it's all of the rings i like that <laughs> i like that a lot it's going to track your activity streaks it's going to give you a detailed working out stat it's going to give you better detailed workout stats and also it's going to give you better alerts most importantly so this is a better application but i don't really work out too much i mean i should i should start filling up my rings more often but i man all right let's just move on Next up, we have an application called Nano, and this brings the Reddit application on your Apple Watch. So we're gonna launch it up, and as you guys can see, you have your subreddits, you have your inbox, your profile. We're gonna tap on home, and let's see what's hot. So most of the things that you follow is right here, so you guys can see. 
And this is really cool to see quickly glance on what's going on on Reddit, see what's popular. And yeah, it's Reddit. And most importantly, this application is free. Now, keeping that same trend of having apps on your iPhone that you use every day, open Lens. Lens is going to bring the Instagram application on your Apple Watch. So you can look at your Instagram feed right here on your wrist. So we have Xerxes. Okay. Uh, we got some wild stuff on Instagram. Okay. So you could browse through your Instagram feed just like that. You can even drop a like or, or love the picture. Or you can leave a comment. Look at the comments. You can add a comment. I'll probably just leave a fire emoji. That's one of my favorite emojis. And yeah, just leave a comment and it's going to show just like that. Now, keeping the same trend yet again, Chirp is going to bring the Twitter experience on your Apple Watch. So as you guys can see, your home, your trending, your mentions, your DMs, your list, your likes. Let's go into the home and you can see your entire Twitter feed right here on your wrist. This is pretty cool. And these applications are free. That's the beauty part about it. You can see what's going on on your Instagram feed. This is pretty cool. Follow me on Twitter at Simply Pops, by the way, but these are all my mentions here. Yes, sir. Next up, this one here is called Speedometer Plus Plus. Now, it is free. I know that Plus Plus name kind of like, oh, this is a paid app, but it's completely free and it's going to track how many steps you took during the day so as you guys can see 844 if i tap on it it tends to like update sometimes but uh yeah so that is exactly 0 0.4 miles one floor so it gives you a nice little graph on your most movement times um i always move 12 o'clock in the middle of the night <laughs> but uh yeah this is really cool and of course you can start a run and yeah i don't really do that kind of stuff but you have that option but it's really accurate when i was walking around in new york city i took 20,000 steps 18,000 to be exact but it's really accurate and it's really cool all right next we have an app called battery phone and it's going to allow you to track your battery on your apple watch and on your phone so my phone's battery percentage is 80 my watch battery percentage is 69 and yeah that's basically what this app does it just it keeps a track on your battery percentage and yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool if your phone is upstairs and you want to see what's your battery percentage, you can do so right here on your wrist. But you guys can see it's kind of small too, but 80%, 69 on the Apple Watch. Next up, we have an app called iTranslate, and this came in handy. Quick little story, I was in a Spanish church, I was invited. I didn't know it was going to be like all Spanish, so I quickly downloaded this app on my iPhone. It's on my Apple Watch, and I launched it up, I had my AirPods in. And you can see the translations right there in real time. So this was a great application. It was just much more easier for my friend next to me. Shout out to Kayla to just tell me what's going on. But they were speaking a little bit English and mostly kind of Spanish. But uh, for the most part, this app right here, you could translate. So it uses dictation and it's going to translate it. So right now it's gonna translate that into Spanish. So when someone's talking in Spanish, hola, um, buenos dias. I don't know, I'm, I'm terrible at Spanish, man. Next, we have an app called Countdown and Countdown is just gonna let you set a countdown. So the only countdown I have right now is my birthday. My birthday is in eight days. You guys can see it's very, very self-explanatory. Yeah, this is the countdown application. It's very, very easy to set a countdown. There's a plus button on the top left. You just pick a name, testing, I guess. You could pick tomorrow, pick a wallpaper. And then this is most important. You got to make sure you have the show on Apple Watch toggle. So that is super important. And then you're going to just tap on done. And then now it should make its way onto the Apple Watch. So as you guys can see, the test is zero days tomorrow. And yeah, that's it. Now I wish they had like some kind of uh, Apple Watch complication route you going into the app to see your countdown. Next up, we have an app called Shapalo. And I gotta say, I absolutely love this app. Now I only use it for one thing and one thing only. Why did it show my address? Now I have to censor that now. Um, I only use it for the Esther's wallet. And this is my wallet right now that I'm currently using absolutely love it so if i lose my wallet i can use my apple watch and it's gonna ping my wallet so 
And once you maybe find your wallet, you can either interact with the app. Or you press the button. So when I'm taking out my credit card, it's so many wow factors. I just press this button. Bloop. Take out my Apple card. Bloop. And you know what's even cooler about this app or this wallet, I should say? You can ask Siri. Ring my wallet. There we go. That's done. And that's the wallet making noise. Next up, we have an app called Cheat Sheet. And it is very, very similar to Bear. But the thing with Bear, it doesn't have a complication. It's only going to just take you to the app. But if I launch it up, it lets you jot down some notes on your Apple Watch. You can edit it up. You can delete it, replace it. You have your complication right here on the front. So hello, YouTube. I have right there. And it's very, very easy to see right there on your watch face. So that is really cool. And I highly recommend Cheat Sheet. Now this app right here called AnyList is going to allow you to have a grocery list or a shopping list, whatever the case may be. And if you tap on something, you can cross it out just like that to let you know that you got it. Um, it's very, very easy to search for an item or add an item, I should say. So if I type in apples, it's automatically going to give you the suggestions right there. You have apple juice, you have uh, apple sauce, apple cider. So you have a lot of good um, suggestions right there. But the problem with this app that I have, you will need to upgrade to the full version of this application, which is going to cost you $10 a year. So every single year, you're going to get charged $10. And that's going to allow you to access your shopping list on your PC, your Mac, your Apple Watch. I included it on the list if you guys are interested of having a shopping list on your, on your Apple Watch. But if you use the application called Bear and, um, I don't know, Cheat Sheet, you could be able to accomplish this easy. But I like the fact how this is a list and you can cross it out easy. But yeah, so any list is an iPhone app, but you have to pay to get the Apple Watch app. And guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want to see a part two. I'm more than happy to make one. And yeah, other than that, your boy Pops, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on, and I'm out. Peace.